I'm going to talk. Okay, I'm going to talk about. Uh, okay, let let me start with. Uh, um, okay, this is this talk is about groups. So uh, I, I would like to start with a major concentration phenomenon on groups that was discovered by uh, Karegari and Fujiwara. So. Uh, 2000, uh, 2010. Uh, in, in the formulation I gave in 2021. So they, they consider the hyperbolic groups. So I, I will give the definition of hyperbolic groups. So it's the, so we consider gamma, group gamma. This is uh, Finitely generated group, so S, S is a finite set of generators, and the gamma is group. Uh, this is finite set of generators. So the symmetric in the sense that the this is this set is invariant under taking the inverse, this is symmetric. So mostly I, I focus on gamma, which is no elementary hyperbolic group. So I, I will define the, the hyperbolicity at the before giving the definition, let me discuss the example. So we can focus on the examples. So the, the first example is the gamma is free group. Or, or, or finite rank, the n rank is at least two. So the, the, genet, the group generated by the, the MR are very without any relations, or uh, the surface group, so the, the, the fundamental group of, uh, of uh, surface, uh, or more precisely the uh, closed Riemann surface of genus, genus at least two. So So, um, so result. So I mentioned hold for for uh, the general hyperbolic group, but uh, we, we can focus on on those examples if we want to be very concrete. Uh, our results are new even for those cases, so they're nothing lost. So, uh, so let let me. Okay, I will define the everything. So let me define the Kelly graph. Of gamma uh, with respect to S. So this is, okay, maybe I don't need to define, but let, let me define the Kelly graph. So this is graph on the, on the gamma. So the set of vertices uh, are gamma, is gamma. And uh, so, so, so between, between the element, I, I have uh, I have an edge uh, for, for two elements x and y. So I have an edge if, if and only if uh, uh, x, x inverse and y is in S. So then now, now I have graph, uh, uh, which is, uh, so we can define graph as an unoriented graph because uh, this is symmetric the invariant undertaking the inverses, I can define the graph as an um, undirected graph. And uh, the, mostly this is regular infinite graph, uh, which is connected because the S generates a group. Okay, this is the Kelly graph. Um, and uh, I, I have to define the, the the metric, so the, we, we discussed graph metric, but in this case, this is word metric, so, so this is 
the, so this depends on S. So I have the met, okay, this is word metric, or graph distance in the query graph. So this depends on S. So the, the S, the distance between X and Y is the, the uh, one norm of X, and X inverse and Y. And norm is defined as the, as the, the yes? Can, can I say something? Yes, yes. Can I put it at the belt? No, I don't have belt. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is better. Okay, thank you. Uh, so this is okay. Well, no. So the so group is generated by S. Uh, how how many generator you need to to have X as a product? So this is minimum number of elements that you need to have X as a, as a as a product of of the generators. Uh, so if, if you write X as a word, then the least number of element is a word norm, and if I define the the x inverse of y, this is word metric. Uh, with respect to s, so of course this depends on s. If I change s, then the uh, metric structure will, will change, of course. So. So the, if I say gamma is no elementary hyperbolic group, so no, no elementary, I mean this, this group is no, no amenable, not amenable. And hyperbolic, uh, so in order to define hyperbolicity, I, I need K graph, so in the, in the K graph, uh, all, all the all the geodesic triangles. Oh, okay, this, locally it, it looks like tree in the sense that uh, every time I draw the the triangle in the Kelly graph, the all the sides are a geodesic segment, and the triangle looks like this in the sense that the so this can be compared with tripod. So all all the side lengths are the same so in, in the sense that the, if I draw tripod with the same side lengths, uh, they, they, are, they are uniformly closed in the sense of Gromo and Hausdorff. Uniformly. So, so, so in this sense, the the locally, the, the graph are uh, always approximated by, by tree. So, but, uh, so, the elementary hyperbolic groups are completely classified. Uh, they, they, are, they are just finite group over, over G or finite extension of G. Uh, no elementary hyperbolic group, the hyperbolic group, the everything else of the finite. Okay, that's, um, not the definition, but the, what, what Caligari and Fujiwara considered or discovered is the, the kind of major concentration phenomenon on the, on the Cayley graph. So, so, they, so what, they, what they considered is the following. So, so in, in one Cayley graph, so I fix one Cayley graph, so in, in one Cayley graph, So if I look oh, for, for no elementary hyperbolic group, so if, if I draw the, the, the sphere, which is very large, so th this is ball centered at the identity, but radius is very large. So in one key graph, I draw the sphere, but if you look at this sphere in another key graph, uh, what happens is that then, I mean, the, I, I, I change the, the generators and look at the, those elements in another Cayley graph, then the, this, the sphere is not going to be sphere in another Cayley graph, so this might look, 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 look like this. I, I, I'm not sure, but the, the boundaries are, are completely distorted. But what they, 
found is that most of the elements are, are concentrating on some sphere. So if I so if I choose okay, if I pick a random or uniformly at random, if I pick an element uniformly at random on the sphere, so xn, so this is uh, uniform on the sphere. Then uh, with high probability, so this is around the sum sphere. So that's what, what they show. So more precisely, uh, what, what they show is that, um, maybe I can, I can use this. Oh, there, there is. <laughs> this is very nice. <laughs> I have, okay, I can use three, three. <laughs> on, on, on the side there is a stick where with a hook, so you ah. can get <laughs> Okay. <laughs> ah, very nice. Ah, this one, okay. Ah, okay, this is very nice. Uh, <laughs> so what they show is that, so, so this is a theory. So for, for any gamma no elementary hyperbolic. For, for any choice of, of generators, S and S prime, you can find some constant tau. This is positive. Uh, such that the, such that the uh, if I measure the distance to the origin of this uh, random group element xn in S prime, so in a different norm, so this is going to be uh, this constant tau S prime over S time n plus the, the error of square root of n. Uh, with high probability, so, uh, as n as n tend to infinity, so n n is very large. So what what that's what they they uh, no uh, not quite in the formulation they gave in the original paper, but the, we can we can formulate in in this way. So I okay we, we can say this is kind of major concentration phenomenon that the, the most of the the element are uh, concentrated on the screen. So, so my talk is about uh, this result so I, I will talk about uh, more on this uh, this result in particular uh, about this tau. So the, my plan is that the, so I want to explain the more about this tau. So what is this tau? Yes. So why can we regard this result as a uh, major, major concentration type result? Well, the, okay, I can elaborate uh, later, but the, oh, okay, this, so in other categories, so, so you, you can never expect this. The, the every element is in the in the sphere, but the so you, you cannot get rid of this with high probability result. Uh, and uh, I, I will say more about this square root of, and then then you maybe I, I might be able to convince you that uh, <laughs> what we can call this the major concentration. Uh, okay, what is this tau? And it, it turns out the, there is some rigidity phenomenon behind this result in terms of tau, so I won't explain that. So, there, there, so this tau plays a role in, uh, in a rigidity that I want to explain. And if, if I have time, uh, I want to uh, 
make a connection to dominated representation world. Uh, in the other area, so we can also say this is an of representation. The generalization of the Taihimiras tai tai that's, uh, that's the that's the problem. Okay, so okay, let, let me let me elaborate this. Uh, so maybe we can call this tau as a as a mean mean distortion. So the, let, let's call this tau uh, mean distortion. Uh, because this is average version of distortion. So distortion is defined in terms of the, the, the ratio of the metric. But look at the worst case. Uh, the, this is kind of average version of distortion. So it's, uh, let's, let's call this the mean distortion. Um, so in, in, order to, in order to formulate the rigidity, uh, let me introduce uh, Notion. So if I have, so this is about comparing the two two metrics. So if I have two two metrics on, on the same group gamma, uh, yeah, okay, I, I can say two metrics are, are quasi isometric. Uh, maybe I don't need to define, but let, let me define this. Uh, these are quasi, uh, no, this is quasi isometric. Uh, if uh, if there I have a constant L and uh, C such that for, for any X and Y, uh, two, two, two metrics are, are, are by Lipschitz up to additive error. By Lipschitz, but with, with some, some error, which is C. So I have the uh, other equality, inequality in this one. Uh, And uh, okay, two two metrics, two. Okay, this is completely general, not necessarily hyperbolic, but uh, and two metrics are two word metrics are uh, quasi symmetric on, on the same group. But he, here is less popular I think, notion, which is called roughly similar. Uh, I said the two on the same group. Oh, I said uh, two two metrics are, are roughly similar. Uh, so I run this notion from the paper by the Bonk and Schramm uh, in two thousand. I'm not sure they are the first who introduced the notion. Maybe the, the notion had existed before, but they are the first who emphasize the importance of this notion in hyperbolic geometry. So if I say two metrics are roughly similar, uh, if uh, there exists some positive constant and no negative constant C, such that the uh, two metrics are, are similar in bounded distance. So if I multiply this factor, uh, one, one with the other metric, then they are within a bounded distance. So this is rough similarity. 
So obviously, this is much stronger than the Kaji isometry, and then two metrics are not necessarily uh, roughly similar anymore. So they, they are similar uh, up to bounded error. Uh, so with, with this, <laughs> I list, but with, with this uh, theorem, guys, um, right. Um, so, so I need one more motion, which is growth rate. So, <laughs> so we we this uh, is the exponential growth rate. So this is the growth rate of the ball. So the, the if I count the number of element in the ball of radius. Radius and center that identity. So this grows, this grows uh, exponentially fast. Uh, there is exponential growth rate we see. So this is positive because I'm looking at the no amenable uh, groups, no, no elementary hyperbolic group, and uh, there is another constant for 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 s prime. This is also this is also positive, but the, the different value. So if I have, if I have this picture, uh, then this theorem says, um, so, so the, I said the, 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 the most of 90% of the elements are concentrated on, on, the, on the, the sphere, but with error uh, square root of n, uh, then, then I, I can count the number of element. So, the, so it, on the sphere, I have mostly the the element, the the size is e to the vs time two to the n. But I, I, in this uh, graph with, with the different s prime. Uh, those are the most of the elements. I mean, the 0.9 portion of the element are, are uh, the, on the on the on the small annulus with the radius uh, tau s prime over s n with small small order small order of n the order square root of n. But the the growth rate is v, v s prime. So then, so this implies that the, there is inequality. Uh, growth rate v, v s is bounded by the tau time uh, v s prime. So, so the, there is this inequality just by simple counting argument given given this uh, uh, result. So let, let, let's call this inequality the the distortion inequality. Inequality. Yes. And then maybe I can use uh, This is very
So rigidity result I want to mention is the following. So for, for any any gamma no elementary hyperbolic any any choice of the pair of generators and then uh, okay if I have equality uh, if uh, and and only if uh, uh, two, two word metrics are uh, uh, roughly similar. If I can, but so, so so this is okay. If if two two met two word metrics are roughly similar, then then we we have equality. That's the that's easy to see the definition. This multiplicative factor lambda is going to be this star. But con converse is uh, no, not obvious. But the so this inequality says, or this equality says the uh, the it, so two metrics are uh, roughly similar. The almost every or kind of say it's almost there, but that's for for says the two metrics are roughly similar. So let, let me discuss the uh, examples. Uh, so look at the, the simple <laughs> and concrete uh, examples. So if, if, if we consider the free group of rank two, uh, then look at the standard set of generators and uh, S prime I have uh, uh, additional uh, element. Uh, this okay. I just put a square. Then it's also set of generators. So if, if I if I draw the K graph in S, S, then this is just the standard four regular tree. Uh, here I have A and A square. Uh, B and B inverses, but if we have uh, additional element a, a square, then I, I have m many more extra edges. Like so, I have a, a square, so I have additional edges in in a, in a horizontal direction, so like this. But this completely destroyed the, the metric structure of the tree. So, so now, now, okay, two, okay, this is a pair of two word metrics. So they are they are quasi quasi isometric or even by Lipschitz without having an additive constant. So they they are. They are QI, but they, they are not uh, roughly similar. So this is easy to see. Uh, so just look at uh, power of a power of a, but power of the two n power of a a to no a, a to the two n and uh, b to the n. So if, if you Okay, if, if I if I consider the distance in B n, then in S this is just n, and in S prime this, this is also n. Uh, so if if they they are they are uh, roughly similar, then uh, looking at this power uh, lambda has to be one. But if you look at the a to the two n, then so in, in one one KD graph the distance is to n, but the other is just n. So they cannot be they cannot be roughly similar. And so maybe the, we can compute tau and growth rate. Uh, this I cannot uh, memorize. Uh, <laughs> how to 
how to <laughs> how to remember. Okay, th this is easy. So it's the growth rate in S is just logarithm of three, and but v vs prime. This is log of one plus two uh, square root of two. Uh, slightly bigger than uh, log three. Uh, the, I can compute tau in this case. So I'm writing s prime over s because this tau is not symmetric in s and s prime. So that's the interesting. Uh, in this case, this is five six. So in order to compute tau, I can use non-bactal King Randomog because uh, in order to compute tau, I have to produce the uniform distribution of the sphere, then I can use non bactal King random walk on three. But the Vs over Vs prime, uh, this is 0 0.81 or something, one, one six. this is one, uh, 0 0.83 and something. Uh, and the cell limits, cell limits too. So, <laughs> so I'm But uh, if, if we change the role S and S prime, the things are uh, uh, not going to be the, the same. Maybe I can use this part. Uh, I can compute S, S over S prime. So tau S over S prime. Uh, this is algebraic number uh, in the quadratic. So this I cannot use. This I cannot use non bactal King random walk anymore because the, in order to produce the uniform distribution the, on the sphere in the, this uh, this. So three with additional edges, I cannot use non bactal King random because the distribution are going to be very different. I cannot use non bactal King random to compute, but I can use Mathematica to compute this. Uh, and Vs over Vs prime, uh, this, oh, uh, the opposite. Vs prime over S, uh, this is the greater than one. Uh, 1.22, so one. Uh, but this is uh, 1.31, so and uh, so I'm still true. Okay. So, so X A is it's not going to be Markov chain, so that's the different. So they we have to think something else. So this is examples, but this is for only for hyperbolic groups. Uh, uh, so one, one rema remark is that the the uh, two only for hyperbolic uh, only for or or there there is counter example. Okay. No, no, I, I shouldn't say it in this way. Uh, uh, not not true for. Theorem is not true for for uh, g g time f two. So this is not hyperbolic group. So I can construct. Okay, I can still define the tau, but I can construct pair of world matrix. Uh, and so I, I mean the we, we have equality yet. Uh, two, two word matrix are not, not roughly similar. So I, I can construct this example. So it's easy to construct. Uh, so, so roughly speaking, the, okay, this is a hyperbolic part, but with additional direction, so I can destroy the, the metric structure in, in this direction. And two, two word matrix are not roughly similar, but this direction the, you cannot see in the statistical sense. The, this is negligible. Uh, almost for, for almost every element. So that's the that's the result. 
Okay. Let, let me elaborate the, uh, this, this, the major concentration. Result by Caligari and Fujiwara, uh, as, I, as I promised <laughs> to convince. <laughs> uh, you at, uh, so the, actually, the, there is the central limit theorem behind this theorem. There is CLT. So, uh, again, in, in the same setting, the, in the hyperbolic group, and then I choose Xn. Uh, then, uh, and measure distance in S prime and subtract by uh, mean distortion and N and the centered random variable. If, if we divide by uh, square root of n, so this tend to, tends to Gaussian. This, tend, this converges to the, the normal distribution in row. So then, to, to, to this, the um, error of order square root of n is, uh, is coming from the central limit theorem. So that the, well, they show this result, but the possibly uh, variance can be variance can be zero. They, they just degenerate because okay, of course we can take s s prime identical. Then the, this the, the variance is just zero. But the so the nat natural question is that when when this is positive. And I, I, I remember that the Koji Fujiwara, Fujiwara sensei came to the university where I was a graduate student. Uh, he explained this theorem. Uh, he explained this result. Uh, at that time, this was preprint or even before the preprint, which that I don't remember, but uh, he gave a, a, a talk at the seminar. Uh, for many years later, when I was reading, the paper that I found that they, they, they didn't discuss this possibility. Mm. But now, now we know exactly when variance is positive. So the so remark is that the, the, this is positive. If one don't leave two word matrix are roughly similar. Ah, not roughly similar. So. <laughs> So this is due to due to Cantor in, in his PhD thesis and uh, independently uh, Gestman Taylor and Tiots showed showed the same same result. Of course, this is also equivalent to to have the, the strict inequality in the distortion inequality. So the, all, all, of the, all, all of three conditions are equivalent. Okay, so this is the, the result I wanted to mention. Uh, so, So he, here is another uh, limit theorem. So, so recently, uh, we we showed uh, the following the with Cantrell, uh, and there is also large deviation principle for 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 this Xn uh, with. Uh, uh, a real analytic rate function. So, analytic. 
So now, now we have the, the large deviation uh, with, with nice function i and the uh, tau s prime over s is a unique unique zero of this function. So now now we have Central limit theorem and also, also large deviation principle. So again, so as I told you, the XN is not Markov chain. Uh, so, so if we want to produce uniform distribution on the sphere, in general, one cannot use random walk. Uh, if you use random walk and then, so running random walk uh, until it hits the, the boundary of the ball or sphere, uh, distribution is not, not going to be uniform. It's very far from uniform. There, there is a, a result which says that. So we have to use something else. So the key, key point is to look at the function in the following form. So, so if I look at the function um, uh, so with, with parameter t, so exponentially weighted uh, summation over S uh, X with norm N in with respect to S and look at the logarithm of this sum divided by N. Uh, there, there, is a, there is a limit for, for any T. And uh, then th th this is the real analytic. That, that's what we show for, for every t. And uh, okay, this, okay, this is convex. It's easy to show it's by Helder inequality. So, we, it, so it, there is analog uh, in the statistical mechanics. So you can. You can realize that the, this is pressure function. That's it. We, we can use this analogy to show the, this uh, large dimension principle. So, so this is convection and the differentiable. So Geltra Eris theorem shows that the large dimension principle. That's the, our, our main contribution is this real analyticity. This is the most uh, technical part. And, uh, but this is. Uh, general uh, uh, result in the sense that we can also discuss the dominated representation. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, time to mention this, but the, the, our, our method also shows the, the other metrics, like not only word metrics, but also other metrics. Okay, maybe I, I stop here. Okay, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Are there any questions, comments? <coughs> yeah, so in the variance zero case, well, how much do you know about the actual rate for the different in the CFD, which is not going to be square root? Uh, just just Dirac, uh, what, what do you mean? Yeah. If 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 variance. No, no, no. no, I mean the. So so if the variance is zero, yes. Then the 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 difference divided by square root of n just goes to zero. Yeah, yeah. it just goes to zero. Yeah. yeah, and then well, okay, well, 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 then well, 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 after well, well, different scaling, well, rather than square root of n, but some higher order. You might see something, but do you not? No, we, we don't see anything interesting because we, we completely know the answer because the uh, uh, variance is zero exactly when two metrics are roughly similar. So they, they are uh, ah. mostly proportional. Ah, so, ah, okay, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So do you expect some other uh, limit theorem like with low iterated low? <laughs> Yeah, 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 I'm pretty much sure because the, uh, as you see, the, we have something Gibbs measure. 
behind. So all the all the limit theorem expected from Gibbs, then I, I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, any any uh, results for larger uh, classes of groups like relatively hyperbolic, or cylindrically hyperbolic? Yeah, that's uh, like yeah, that's definitely interesting. But the I I no I. Yeah, that that uh, we should invest investigate it that direction. But the, I, even in the case of relatively hyperbolic group, uh, we we haven't uh, this result yet. Okay. Any other questions or comments? <coughs> okay. If not, uh, let's thank Yuxia again.